Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and I'm going to share with you in today's video what's happening with our real estate market in the greater Toronto area and how you can take advantage of it. We can see this chart over here which shows the prices have actually been steadily declining. Since the first week of March, we can see our average price hit a high point which was followed by a, a significant drop and we can see that the market has been trending downwards. Although this doesn't really tell the whole story, I think it's a major headline right now that the market is cooling, is shifting, yet let's keep things in perspective and acknowledge the fact that our average price is also at a record high. However, what makes this data especially interesting is if we take a look at uh, this chart over here, which shows a month by month breakdown of the sales active listings and the general health of the market, we can see that our average price had only been increasing from July 2021 onwards. We can see it increased, increased, increased. And then in February 2022, hit an extreme high of 1.33 million. And this looks like the first month where we have actually seen a decrease in price um, over the past seven to eight months. And why this is happening, we can definitely look at the increase of interest rates and perhaps the uncertainty as far as the global affairs with the economy. What so is right now, we're looking at slightly decreased demand and at the same time a significant increase in the listing inventory. We have noticed that in most areas there are far more signs out there. Listings are coming out as expected which generally does happen during the months of March and of April as sellers plan to list the properties in, up for the springtime, get it sold and then in the summertime that's when they typically do close or move into their new home for the new school year. Going back to the first chart, which shows the weekly activity for detached sales in the city of Toronto, we can see there was this steady appreciation. What I'm noticing in the marketplace right now is that single family homes, they're still selling. If you list your average 2000 square foot detached or semi-detached home, it's not having any trouble selling. But what so is listings, for instance, are not selling hundreds of thousands over their asking price, maybe 100,000, perhaps 200,000. And we're not seeing any new records being broken. The records were mostly broken in January, February time. And investors are not so keen on entering the marketplace right now. So for investment properties out there, for commercial properties out there, and for condo buildings, which are typically sold to investors, they're what's taken a hit. That's where the days on market has really gone up. And believe it or not, there are many sellers who aren't getting any offers whatsoever on their offer day, meaning that they're listing the property at a set price with the expectation that it will sell over asking price. But the problem is, is that the price tag that they're putting for the property was more so in accordance to the listing prices that you were seeing in January or February time. And what's happening is buyers are seeing those prices thinking, okay, I'm probably not going to compete because I'll likely be competing with other offers. And as a result, the seller has no offers at all. And as an illustration of that, we can see over here, we're looking at, okay, just how many detached properties have been sitting on the market in Toronto. And some of these listings have been sitting. All these have been on the market for three weeks plus, which is rare. We have 25 here. But if we were to look at this data about a month ago, there were only maybe seven or eight detached listings in all of Toronto that were on the market for longer than three weeks. And those listings which were on the market, they may have been on the market because the tenants weren't allowing the seller to show the property or some sort of unusual circumstance that was leading the property not to sell. Right now, however, if a seller is listing their property, expecting a premium, likely their listing is going to sit on the market. We've seen a lot of sellers during the month of March they have maybe, for example, seen a specific sale on their street in February and thought, okay, maybe I can get a little bit higher, but that is not what's happening. It is still a wonderful time to sell. You're likely looking at selling your property in under 10 days, provided that you have a great agent working by your side. However, you need to be a little bit realistic with your expectations of price. And if you saw sales that were in February or in January, Expect that when you do list your property to sell it, agents will not be using those properties as comparables because of the fact that the market was uh, so much hotter because it definitely is hotter. Although the average price hasn't taken too much of a hit, the nature of the market when it comes to competition and bidding wars, that seems to have fizzled out just a little bit. But the great news is, is for condo apartments, we're not necessarily seeing the same data as shown over here. We can see that there was like a slight hit, maybe a slight correction when it came to the average price, then it shot right back up. I think only time will tell. It's far too early to indicate whether or not we are in a shifting real estate market. The interest rates, they adjusted only slightly, but let's see if the interest rates will continue to rise and how that will affect the market. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't
haven't already. If you are considering buying or selling, then call me, call me, call me as all my clients get excellent service. And if you are an ambitious real estate agent looking to connect, looking to partner with me at eXp, then definitely don't be shy about reaching out. My contact information is in the description box below and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.